house so i haven't created art in ages i've been doing the daily doodle diary challenge i haven't missed a single day there i've got lots of art supplies packed so let's head to the zoo and see how much art we can make in one day and when i say zoo it's kind of a weird place it's like a farm zoo vintage amusement park you'll see what i mean when i get there let's go It's so windy. She found the reindeer. I thought we'd start by heading to the reindeer because this area of the park is pretty isolated. I thought there wouldn't be many people walking past, but it was also a very busy day, so there's loads of people all around. I also thought the reindeers would stay still, since deer don't really move that much. I thought I'd be able to draw them nice and easily because they'd stay still, and that was a mistake. That didn't happen. I haven't brought many art supplies with me, just a few pencils, a water-based marker, some neo colours and a fine liner. That's pretty much it. So we're not going for realistic colours with this reindeer. This reindeer is bright and bold and crazy. I think that was the worst animal we could have chosen. This is the first drawing done. I had to completely wing it because where on earth has my model gone? This is a different reindeer. I have no clue where the reindeer's gone. Never work with animals. I found him hiding in the corner. Added a little bit of the fur that's kind of coming off and looks a little bit more like it now. Why is this bird so unnecessarily loud? Like, it's tiny, why are you making that much noise? I figured a bird would be interesting to draw because it's probably the most different thing from a reindeer, but I also didn't quite think about how difficult it would be considering that this bird is tiny and really far away, so I had to make a lot of it up. I really don't know how accurate this drawing is to the actual bird, because the actual bird was sat in a hedge somewhere screaming and I couldn't see it. A lot of it is from my imagination, some of it's from the board next to me. I think the bird is turquoise, so I'm just grabbing a little bit of yellow now to try and see if there's any way that we could possibly mix it with blue to create a green. I didn't think it was possible because we tried to do this in Rome and these colour pencils do not blend in the slightest. And I was correct. You can see that they just don't make green at all. These pencils were not cheap. They are jumbo, they're fun to use, but they don't blend in the slightest. So I used the yellow for some grass and I think we've created something kind of cute. It's kind of cold and windy today, as you can tell, so unfortunately a lot of the animals are kind of hiding. Living the dream. There's such pretty markings as well. What a boy. I'm going to talk you through this one because we're currently in a barn that is incredibly loud and every single noise you could think of is here. 
There's kids, there's goats, there's chickens, and we're currently drawing miniature pigs. Yes, apparently these are miniature pigs. I thought they'd be great because adult pigs don't tend to move very much. They just kind of sit still and don't really do a lot. And these ones also have a really expressive face with quite a lot going on. I wasn't able to see their eyes in the slightest really though because they had so many folds covering the eyes that I had to sort of make it up. Eyes are a part of my art style. I like adding really big eyes. And these probably weren't the right animals for that. I ended up having to quickly finish this one from memory. The pig moved, so I had to end there. Look at the markings on this chicken. How pretty is that? Completely unbothered. If an alpaca feels threatened, then they may spit at you. And they can spit up to 10 feet. Tiny. Can use the finger hole, maybe. Yay, kind of. Although well, that brown one doesn't really look like a sheep if I do it. I could try though. It might be a bit hard. Maybe let's do this one instead. This one's kind of chill. Crazy hair. Faces, but a single one will stand out. Hearts give and a beat. One, two, four, and three. Then suddenly call me crazy. But I think you might be the one for me. Am I being romantic or just unrealistic? If I believe in destiny and everyday magic, is there a someone for no one? Or just no one for someone Where do we fall? Is it our call? Can fate be outrun? I've been over every detail Every boss of each So I know that there will come a day It could be snowing or I find myself caught in the rain
I had no intention of drawing this iguana, but here's what happened, okay? We walked into this tropical house and there was no one there. So it was the perfect opportunity to draw and film. Quickly grabbed the sketchbook, grabbed a pen, made a start, and the second that camera came out and I just started drawing, a ton of people came in. Like multiple big family groups. And it was so awkward because I was just standing there right in front of this iguana on the main path, trying to draw it as best as I could, as quickly as I could, with a ton of people walking behind and around. And it was really awkward. It was about as awkward as you could imagine. This iguana has some really strange markings that probably only look odd because I'm just drawing the lines. So everything looks really harsh even though it's just shadow. Honestly, I think my drawing kind of looks a bit more like a frog. Maybe like a frog's head with a crocodile's body. I think that's kind of what I ended up drawing. Hi. He might be moving a little bit too fast for me to be able to draw him. We're in the same tropical house and I saw these colourful little frogs and just knew I had to try and draw them with neo colours. I reached for this orange neo colour which is literally the perfect shade. It's what I thought of immediately after seeing these frogs. So obviously I had to draw them, it's the perfect shade with no mixing required whatsoever. Which is pretty lucky considering I only bought like three pastels with me. I do love frogs though. You might have seen in my recent small business haul that I got a lot of frogs as stickers and wall art. Frogs are just perfect, they're colourful and they're also really fun to draw. This experience however was not very fun. I'm reaching for the black fine liner, just adding those black details in. Though we are a little bit restricted because there weren't any pastels that would have worked for the second colour. I don't know, what do you think of this one? What's your favourite so far? So it turns out the Neo colours have a wax resist and the fine liners are kind of a pain, they dry up like anything. I didn't bring a black. I have a fine liner, let's use this. No. 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 The one that sat down is staying a little bit more still. And I'll do like the wing over here maybe. And then we'll have to make it like off the page. Oh no. But if we make that the penguin, the belly and then we make all this black
I don't know if you can tell just how windy it is right now. It's gotten a little bit colder too. Unfortunately, there were so many people today that I wasn't able to talk to you very much. But I've got my eye on some flamingos. I've got these two neo colors and I think these are gonna work. So should we go draw some flamingos? Forgot about the black again. I'm gonna go for this this one because I think this is the only one that's kind of staying still. It's just moved. You see him? He's looking the wrong way. Um. I think I made the body too small. I think I need to extend it. Like, right back here or something. Oh, the ducks are coming. Okay, the beak isn't green. <laughs> I don't know, green is complimentary. Um, and then I'm gonna use this green. That doesn't work. Flamingo. The zoo has just closed, so we're gonna head back now. What do you think? I think this has been a successful day. We did a lot of drawing. It was a little bit too cold to do watercolor, I'm not gonna lie. So we did a lot more drawing than painting. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe if you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.